Hey, it's Mike over at FisherAssOff.com and today what we're talking about are going to be the three best uh, trout lures. Uh, in my opinion, the best trout uh, lures to use. Uh, trout are a fun fish to catch. They're pretty good to eat too for the most part. Uh, usually you catch them out on grass flats and things like that. They're very sight oriented fish. Um, I catch most of mine in five feet of water. So they're a shallow water fish too, uh, but they're real fun to catch. And here I want to show you some of the, some of my ideas about how to best catch them. Okay, so the three best trout lures. Uh, number one is a scented plastic. And what I mean by that, I'm going to give Gulp a free commercial here. Um, I like to have a dark one. Here's the root beer. And I like to have a light one. What's this one? This one's pearl, pearl white. So I just try the one without the, and you know, to try the light one first usually, and then if that's not working, I'll switch over to dark. It depends on water clarity, other things too, but you always want to have a dark and a light, um, you know, here together, um, to, just in case. Um, and, and as far as using this, I like to use it with a jig head and a lot of times I'll have it under some sort of popping cork. So we also did a video on, it's called the Deadly Combo. Um, you might want to look at that because it's specifically using a scented uh, jig, um, soft plastic jig underneath the popping cork. But let's go ahead and go to the next uh, best one. It's a gold spoon. For whatever reason, trout love gold more than uh, silver. Here's here. I'm giving another plug. This is Johnson Silver Minnow. This is a weedless gold spoon. I like the weedless ones because they only have the one hook, and you really tear up the mouths. You know, a trout is a pretty wimpy fish. You have to handle them very, very carefully when you're um, when you catch them. You'll tear their mouth up, and they can't eat. You don't want to do that. Uh, so, so I like spoons that only have one hook, so it doesn't tear it up. And same with uh, the next one, which is top waters. Okay, a walk the dog type of top water lure. So here's one right here. This is a mirror lure, and this is a top dog. So what I'll do with these, they like this color for whatever reason. I don't know why they like the orange, but it seems like trout really like this orange color. So this is a walk the dog. You know, you're, it's going like that in the water. Um, so as soon as my first round of hooks um wears out you know starts to rust out what i do is i replace them with uh, just single hooks like this you still catch just as many fish believe it or not uh, almost always it's this back hook that catches them i don't even know if you need this front hook but uh, yeah you can just replace your your treble hooks with uh just regular hooks once once the um you know, once they rust out, once they treble. And then you save so many more of these fish. They don't die. You know, you have to have wet hands when you hold a trout, pick up a trout out of water, or it wipes their slime off, and, uh, and they'll die. Uh, this is an imitation baby trout. They're very cannibalistic. So <laughs> this one works pretty well, too. You see the spots and stuff on it? Yeah. So you, you really, really... Here, let me show you a couple more. Here's, a, here's another mirror lure. It's just a smaller one. It's a Top Dog Junior, I think is what this one's called. Again, I'm going to swap these out because they're getting rusty. And another brand I really like is called Zara Spook. Same deal. Wow, those are really rusty. i got to swap those out right now. <laughs> Ugh. But anyways, it's another Walk the Dog. It's, of course, that color I told you I like for, uh, um, you know, for, for the trout right there. And uh, let's go ahead and talk about where to actually catch these bad boys. Well, most of the trout I've caught, I've caught about five feet of water or less. And it's been on grass flats. So here's your trout. He's basically just sitting there waiting for something to come by. They're very camouflaged when they're, when they're dug into the grass. And they'll hide right by the, uh, that right there is like a sandy spot, you know. And they'll wait right by a sandy spot or in that sandy spot for something to come by. And then they'll get up and jump on them. You know, their little pothole hiding place. So that's 90% maybe. Eh, maybe 80% of the 
of the of the of the trout I catch is, is a scenario like this. And here's a couple other scenarios. So say you're you're somewhere where there's an oyster where there's oysters, you know, where the where the water's real uh, real nice and there's oyster bars still. Well, they love this scenario. So the, the current's coming this way and it's a cut between a couple oyster bars. Well your trout will all be stacked up right in here waiting for it and in the middle here. So so what you want to do is just bounce your, your scented plastic jig, you know, down there. Bounce your weedless gold spoon or cast up up thing and work your you know your uh, your top water down there to catch that. Okay, here's another scenario that I really like. Uh, you, know, you can't really tell, but that's basically a tree line. Let's say that's mangroves or or needle grass, whatever it is, depending on what part of the state you're in. So what it is, it's a creek mouth. So it's an outgoing tide into a bigger bay type area right here. Well, these guys will be stacked up all a lot, all in here, waiting for um, you know some sort of forage some sort of uh, something for them to eat to get washed out of that creek mouth. So any sort of tidal creek mouth, you know, as long as it's deep enough. You want that to be at least two or three feet deep uh, where you're fishing. But, uh, and it really helps if this is grass or, you know, maybe there's an oyster bar here or whatever the case is. Because they really, you know, they're, they're, they want to be hiding and then dart out and eat the thing and then, um, you know, continue hiding. So other things don't eat them. But uh, that, this is another great scenario as far as uh, catching trout. But I think that's about it for today. You know, just wanted to give uh, another one of these as far as best lures on catching trout. You can see all this information right on our website. It's www.fisheryassoff.com. Uh, we have a how-to section, a where-to section, a what-to section, videos. You know, if you want to read, we have written information there too. So... So go check it out. It's a website set up with simple tips to help fishermen catch more fish, basically. But, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I covered everything. So until next time, we'll see you then. All right. Bye-bye.